So welcome to another video of Juniper Jonos Associated course. In this video, we are going to talk about Juniper Jonos commit and rollback commands. We know already these two commands we have discussed in the previous sections, but in this video, we will add some handy and useful tips about these two commands. With commit command, your configuration changes will be applied from candidate configuration to the active configuration up to 50. A committed version of configurations are stored locally in the device and at any time you can restore and apply any of these 50 configurations into the device and active configuration with rollback command. In this video especially we'll talk about commit confirm command which is very useful in remote configuration. Before touching the configuration let's review Jonas commit and rollback commands as we know when we change a configuration it is stored in candidate configuration but will not be applied to the active with a show compare command we can see the changes in candidate configuration which are not yet applied to the device with commit command changes will be pushed and applied to the active configuration in addition to normal commit command there are some parameters for this command with commit check command you can check the configuration changes to make sure if there is any mistake conflict or incomplete commands if there are some errors you will receive some message to correct the commands however commit check command is not very necessary to use since the commit command normal commit command also shows these messages if there are some errors but there is a very handy and useful parameter for commit command with commit confirm command you can apply the changes but temporary otherwise you confirm commit command during this period the use case of this command is when you configure a changes in the device but remotely and if there is a mistake then your connection will be lost with commit confirm command if there is a mistake the configuration will be restored after a specific time since you don't confirm your changes it is always recommended to use commit confirm instead of commit to make sure that new changes create no problem in the network then we can confirm the commit command with a rollback command we can restore one of the previous configuration versions by default up to 50 commit version of configurations are stored in the device locally from 0 to 49 you can easily compare the current configuration with any of previous configuration versions and restore any of them the command show compare is actually the same as show compare rollback zero which means to compare the current candidate configuration with last active configuration which is rollback zero in other words what changes are configured but they are not still applied to the device the command rollback zero is very handy and useful which discard any changes in candidate configuration and restore the latest active configuration as you know the committed versions are numbered from 0 to 49 and the rollback 0 means the latest active configuration and the rollback n command restore the configuration to the latest n plus 1 committed configuration version notice that the restored version is not applied to the device and will be located in candidate configuration so we can check the changes with show compare command and then apply it with commit command to better understand these two commands let's touch them once again let's make an incomplete changes in the active configuration the concept of changes itself is not important and only the use of commit and rollback commands are important to concentrate configure set security policies from zoom trust to zoom on trust policy permit all source address 
match source address and M. After incomplete changes, my configuration is not complete. I will use commit check command to check the configuration changes. The output of this command shows that there are some statements that I have not configured and I have to configure. Missing mandatory statement. As I have said, commit check command is not very necessary to use since commit command also shows these messages if there are some errors. As you can see, the commit command also shows if the command includes some errors. Now let's discard current configuration, current changes with rollback zero and make some configuration by mistake that breaks our connectivity. For example, delete system services SSH. I'm going to actually delete SSH access. So I'm configuring this command by mistake. So I will lose the connectivity and then, but this time I use commit confirm one minutes command instead of commit command. Also, my connectivity is broken but my connectivity will be restored after one minute since I don't confirm the commit command in during this one minute. Now, if we check, our connectivity is lost, but we have to wait for one minute. To confirm the commit command, we enter the commit command once again without a confirm parameter during the specific period, but I don't confirm the commit command. So I expect that after one minute, connectivity will be restored. This command is very useful and recommended. As you can see, the commit command will be rolled back in one minute, broadcast message from root. Commit was not confirmed. Automatic rollback complete. And if we check again the connectivity, our connectivity is restored because we have used commit confirm command instead of commit command. We have lost our connectivity, but we didn't confirm our commit command, then we have restored our connectivity. As I have said, up to 50 version of uh, committed configurations are stored locally in the device with show system commit but in operational mode you can display all safe configuration versions as you can see there are more than 20 about 30 configuration versions stored in my device for each version shows the date and also the user who modified the configuration with command rollback is zero and then with command show in the operational mode show configuration compare rollback with the rollback for example 10 you can compare your current active configuration with any version of safe configuration as you can see the compare shows that the host name virtual SIX temp is deleted and virtual SIX will uh, is added in this configuration with the rollback in configuration mode with rollback n or rollback 10 as an example in configuration mode you can restore any version of a stored configuration the restored version is but not applied to the device but it's located in the candidate configuration so with command show compare you can check again if the restore version of the configuration is correct then you can commit the restore version of the configuration to apply to the active configuration or with rollback zero you can discard the changes the rollback zero command is also 
very useful in the configuration mode and it's very handy which discard the current candidate configuration to restore the latest active configuration.